Hey guys, it's Bethany here, the Humane Educator at Frederick County Animal Control and Pet Adoption Center. I'm outside right now, as promised, to do our Facebook Live to introduce you to just a handful of our many dogs that are available for adoption right now. Because we're doing something a little different this month, we wanted to give people more of an opportunity to see their dogs before they come into our facility. So the first dog that we have for you is actually Shadow. And he is one of our younger dogs. Um, he's about seven months old. He's one of our terrier mixes. So he is super energetic, um, as is common with a lot of the really young dogs. Um, but he is treat motivated. As you can see, our volunteer Sandy's here working with him on sit and trying to lure him into a down. So he is very treat motivated. Um, he loves to snuggle and do the zoomies. And he has a lot of potential, but he is, you know, a puppy. So he's gonna need uh, an owner who is committed to giving him all of that training so that he has those good manners. Um, because he is an active dog, probably would do a well in a home with an active family. Um, maybe hiking, lots of uh, running around in the yard. Um, but overall, a very nice dog needs um, somebody who's willing to kind of work with him. Um, if you are interested in meeting any of the dogs that you see here or any of the dogs you've seen online, um, the first step to make that is to make that appointment by going to visit fcac.as.me um, and then you can kind of scroll through our books and meet the three dogs that you want to meet um, during our um, Fall For Me uh, Canine Speed Dating event. So this is our first dog today. This is Shadow, again, seven-month-old male terrier mix. Um, if you're interested in him, go ahead and and uh, book that appointment. Our next dog is gonna be coming in through our gate. We're out in our mulch yard right now. Um, I think our uh, Sandy's gonna go ahead and take uh, Shadow out and we'll see who our next guest is. So our deputy director, Willie Walton, is coming in with our youngest dog that we have available right now. This is Oliver. And Oliver is about five months um, um, through uh, Good Samaritan. He was actually dropped off at uh, one of the uh, uh, emergency vets, um, thinking that he had possibly been hit, in, hit by a car. Um, he had some, some issues with his leg. So thankfully we were able to, uh, with the help of Focus, our sister, a nonprofit, get him a surgery called an FHO um, to kind of repair that injury. Um, he's your typical puppy, but right now he's still undergoing physical therapy for his leg. That's something that anybody who is going to be adopting him would need to do um, to, to make sure that he's getting that treatment um, as he's continuing to build up the strength in that leg um, but otherwise typical puppy he has been in foster care so he does well with uh, other dogs he is a uh, crate trained already he knows sit his foster parents spent a lot of time kind of working with him um, sometimes he does still uh, limp a little bit so if he's doing too much activity then he would need to kind of calm down and take a break um, but just typical puppy, still working on all of those house training things, good manners. We're hoping to be sending him to our puppy camp next week with one of our affiliated uh, training partners. So hopefully he'll get some more of those good manners under his belt um, and uh, be ready to go home. We're not looking for anything specific really for him, just a committed owner who's willing to finish out that physical therapy. And also um, not kids that are too young. We wanna make sure that they're not bumping into him, um, you know, possibly injuring that leg that may still be a little bit tender and things along that line. He is a shepherd mix. So kind of understanding that breed can always be helpful um, to make sure that you understand the energy level um, and you know um, the best methods of, of training and working with those dogs. Um, so this is again, Oliver, our five month old shepherd mix. And uh, if you want to meet him, you want to make an appointment to uh, visit by going to visit fcac.as.me. Who do we have next? Let's see who's coming in the gates. We have about seven dogs that we're gonna showcase for you today. And a bundle of energy is coming through the gate. This is Blue. She is our healer mix. 
Blue is a bundle of energy. Again, Blue is also going to be hopefully going to camp and learning some good manners. Um, she is a very treat motivated little girl. Um, she's comfortable with all of our staff and our volunteers, but she can be a little bit nervous at first when she's meeting new people or going to new places. Um, so that is something she can be, again, a little leery of those new situations. I've taken her to events before, and what I've discovered is, you know, you do a couple laps around, um, let her sniff and kind of get acclimated, and then she's super friendly. She walks right up to people, wants to engage with them. Um, she does know a very good sit. She didn't when I first met her, and she learned sit very quickly um, she can also be lured into a down really nicely um, she loves a good belly rub she is a favorite of all of our ACOs our animal control officers when she first came in they kept her in their office for a while and did lots of interacting and snuggling with her and they really fell in love um, she can be a little leery of other dogs sometimes, so slow introductions would be really important. As you can see, she's still a young dog, learning that off and not to jump on people. Um, but again, she's basically a year old, so she still is, is really needing a lot of that um, good manners training. We're hoping to give her a really good foundation, but she's very playful. She's very affectionate. She is a, a herding breed, so again, used to having a job. So um, things like agility or lots of exercise, um, just basic training would all be really good um, for Blue. Um, she does enjoy a good dog bed, um, but so a lot of things for Blue are just going to be new. She's still learning. She's still learning, hey, the car's not scary. Um, hey, this is how I need to do this stuff. Um, so just, you know, taking it nice and slow with her and really understanding that that she, she's going to be reliant on you to kind of teach her those things. She's a young dog. Uh, unfortunately, we did adopt her out, but um, the training that was going to be required was a little bit too much, so Blue got surrendered back to us. So we're looking for another home for Blue. But a fun dog, an active dog, a really smart dog, um, a lot of great traits. Not great at catching the treats. Um, we have a couple that are excellent treat catchers and some that are not so great with that mouth-eye coordination. Um, but Blue is going to be here um, available for adoption. To make an appointment to visit with her, you're going to want to go to visit fcac.as.me to learn uh, more about Blue, but also to, again, book that appointment. You can also find copies of our downloadable applications at that link. Uh, thank you, Sandy. Our next dog should be coming in here shortly. This is our mulch yard. This is one of the couple play yards that we have available for our dogs to be off leash, to run around and play, interact um, with our volunteers and our staff and potential adopters. Um, if you're looking for something with a little bit less energy than the animals that we've shown you up to this point, then Diamond might be a good option for you. Um, Diamond is far away and removed from the puppy stage, from that adolescent dog stage. She's about five years old. Um, she is our pint-sized boxer mix, um, beautiful brindle color. Um, only about 40 pounds. So if you like the idea of having a boxer, but you uh, are worried about the weight of a more traditional size boxer, then Diamond might be a great option for you. Um, she's very calm, very relaxed. She does no sit. Also not great at catching treats um, on a consistent basis. She takes treats really gently from your hand. She walks fairly nicely on a leash. She's mastered the sad Sarah McLaughlin head tilt. Um, all we need is some, you know, Arms of the Angels background music. She can really pull that off very well. Um, the kennel techs tell me she loves to go sunbathing, just kind of relax. So if you're looking for a dog to hang out with you in the backyard, sit on the deck, just nice and chill, then Diamond might be a great option for you. Um, she was a little bit leery about getting into the van the first time when I took her to the radio, but then on the way back home, she was already used to it. She jumped right in. So um, she gets acclimated fairly quickly to new environments. And she's also one of our quieter dogs. You know, we have a lot of dogs that tend to bark in their kennels. And, uh, and you walk by Diamond, she's pretty quiet. And her kennel is also fairly clean. Um, so in addition to being, you know, friendly, affectionate, calm and relaxed, she has those things going for her as well. Um, if you are interested in meeting Diamond, again, go into that link to make an appointment. It's visit fcac.as.me. Um, a lot of our dogs do come to us as strays. Um, this dog was an own dog. Unfortunately, the owner no longer able to care for her. Um, you can definitely see all of that information on the QR codes that are uh, 
linked to her profile. Um, so you can see, you know, whether animals are owned, whether they're stray, all the information that we may have gotten from a previous owner or from the behavior assessments that we do here in our facility. So um, typically the, those profiles aren't necessarily um, um, included on our Facebook page, but because of the promotion we're doing right now, you can see all of that profile medical and behavioral on their dating profiles, which are on our Facebook page. So again, if you're interested in Diamond, go to visit fcac.as.me. Thank you, Willie. Our next dog should be coming along shortly. Again, um, if you go to that link to book an appointment, you can find downloadable applications there. Um, um, in addition to being able to book that link, on our Facebook page, we have all of the dating profiles that we've created for our dogs with information about them. If they have a Pet Pals video link, all of those things are included as well. This is Sunny. Um, Sunny is uh, one of our longtime residents. She's been here since July. Um, she is still a young dog as well. At this point, about seven months old. She is a hound mix. Um, and she, we just call her uh, a burst of energy. Um, Sunny is all about the energy. She's very active. She's very into stuff. She's very busy, but she's also very treat motivated. So um, harnessed, um, harnessing that energy properly and getting her focused on something, she's going to be a great dog. Um, not only is she treat motivated, but she's very play motivated. I've been told that she loves rope toys. Um, that she loves to play fetch and she loves to tug. Um, so she's a very active dog, very fun dog. Um, but she does need someone who's going to make sure that she gets the appropriate amount of exercise. She loves the zoomies. She does tend to circle on a leash and all of those things. So somebody with a, a yard where she can run off leash and play, that would be a great option. Or maybe even getting her into things like agility or scent work um, so that she can use both her brain and have that, that physicality and that exercise. Um, Again, she's still a really young dog at about seven months old, so um, still working on things like house training, crate training, all of those basics. Hopefully she's gonna get a good foundation um, when she goes to puppy camp next week, so she'll be um, working on things like sit and down and polite leash walking and not jumping on people. Um, those are all the types of things that they work on um, at that facility. And then all of the instructions on you know the, the ways that they've been teaching that do come home with those dogs. So they will um, have that book that goes home with their owners. So you can continue to work on those things with her as well. But if you're looking for an active dog who's maybe gonna go running with you, be a good hiking partner, um, you know, somebody to chase your kids around in the backyard, then a Sunny would definitely be a good option. Um, our kennel staff say that she's super smart, again, has a ton of potential, but she just definitely is a dog that's gonna require uh, a lot of exercise and some training to become the best version of herself. You can learn more about Sunny and all the things that she likes, like ice cubes and uh, things like that, by checking out her dating profile, which you can find on our Facebook page. Um, again, to make an appointment to visit with her, you're going to want to go to visit fcac.as.me. Thank you, Sunny. Sunny's going to get an extra treat. Look at her. She knows. She knows where that treat pouch is. Our next dog. Peter Thomas is definitely quickly becoming a favorite. So much of a favorite that he's already had two full-size cookies today. And when I say cookies, I don't mean treats. I mean actual dog cookies. Um, this guy has a lot of different names. You know, Peter, Peter Thomas. I think one of the kennel staff even says he's Pope Peter Thomas II. He has a lot of names. Um, he's a very sweet guy. He's very well-mannered. Um, he does not like a lot of loud noises, so um, the kennels have been pretty loud today. So Peter Thomas has actually been up front in our office where he has um, definitely courted all of the office ladies. They all love him now. Um, he is quite the, the beggar, but he's so polite about it. He just sits there quietly and gives you sad puppy face while he watches you until you um, give in and give him all of your french fries. Um, he does know um, sit, he knows paw. Um, his catching skills are hit or miss in terms of can I catch that in the air or not. Um, I've heard that he has even um, been known to crawl into a lap. He loves Kongs and things like that, the puzzle feeders. Um, but he's just a sweet guy. He's pretty quiet. Um, but again, um, the, the really loud noises um, that 
he was experiencing um, in the shelter today. We're stressing him out a little bit. So we brought him up front um, so that he could relax. He hasn't chewed on his bed or anything like that. Um, he had, did do a little bit of uh, trash surfing. So keeping that in mind, you might want to get a covered trash can if you were to make Peter Thomas part of your family. Um, but he has the best smile. Um, you know, he did take a little bit of time to warm up to me. But then um, after that, we were fast friends. Um, he did really well on our Pet Pal show. Um, so you'll be able to learn more about him on, on that video link as well. Um, but he's just a great guy. He's got some cool spots. He's just a really fun, relaxed guy. Kind of along the lines of Diamond, a, a little bit calmer than some of the other dogs that we've shown you today. Um, but at about, uh, I think he's listed as about two years old, so still a very active guy. Um, but definitely a dog where if you have a really a, a loud, a lot of noise and commotion going on, um, might not be the best home for him. Hey, Peter, can you show everybody your smile? Can you sit? Can you sit and smile for them? No, no smiles today. He's all blue steel for us right now. Um, but this is Peter Thomas. Um, definitely a, a staff favorite here at FCAC. We love him. And hopefully one of you will love him as well and want to make him part of your family. Um, if you want to book an appointment to meet him, you can go to visit fcac.as.me. Thank you, Peter. So again, anytime you want to visit with one of our animals, whether it's cats, dogs, rabbits, we have a variety of things right now. You want to make an appointment by going to visit fcac.as.me. Um, that's going to be the best place to go. You can find downloadable applications there for both cats and dogs, as well as our small animal application. Um, right now we do have a, uh, a parakeet in addition to hamsters, guinea pigs, and rabbits in our small animal room. Uh, this is Milo, and I believe he is our last dog um, that we have for you today. He's one of our Rottweiler mixes. We actually have two Rottweiler mixes right now. Um, Milo is the male and the larger of the two. Um, he is about two years old. Um, everybody is using this opportunity to, to go to the bathroom, which is great because it shows you that they do know how to go to the bathroom outside. Um, Poppy is our other uh, Rottweiler mix. Um, she has the nubby tail, and she's a little bit smaller and uh, younger at about nine months old. So Milo was previously owned. Um, the, his owner moved away um, and was unable to take him along. Um, he is very uh, social in terms of his interactions with humans. He loves people. Um, he loves toys. Um, the thing about Milo is that he loves to jump. He's doing really well today, um, but generally speaking, when he gets excited, um, he is all over the place. He's jumping up and down. So hopefully he'll work on some polite greetings at puppy camp um, and learn to keep his feet on the floor a little bit more. He takes treats nicely. Um, he can be a little bit vocal when he's left alone because he is such a, a people-oriented dog, so we can whine a little bit. He does know a nice sit. He has paw under control as well. He takes treats pretty nicely, um, and he's a, a fairly good size. He's a, a very nice dog, um, just looking for that chance at a forever home. Um, because he was previously owned and the owner did a good job filling out the profile, we do have additional information about uh, Milo that you can see online. Um, if you're going to his medical profile, you can see all that behavioral information. Um, a little bit bigger, so, you know, just working on those trainings. Um, but overall, a very nice dog looking for a forever home. Um, if you are interested in Milo, Diamond, any of the dogs that you've seen today, these guys, um, at least six of them are going to be at puppy camp next week. So they may not be here uh, next week, the week of the 11th but they will be coming back the following Saturday um, so that you can visit with them at that point. Um, if you're interested in any of our dogs, you might want to fill out an application beforehand. That helps us expedite the adoption process. So that makes we can sure we can get all your landlord background checks, things like that done, make sure your uh, other animals in your household are current on their rabies vaccines. So that can be really helpful. Um, again, you can find downloadable applications in addition to um, an opportunity to book that appointment to meet the animals by going to visit fcac.as.me. So we hope that you enjoyed this opportunity to meet just a handful of our adoptable dogs. We have uh, nearly 30 dogs available for adoption right now. Um, so there's a lot to choose from. We have a lot of uh, Pitbull Terrier type mixed dogs, but we do have, as I mentioned, um, two Rottweiler mixes, the Boxer mix. We have the a bunch of hounds. Um, we also have the healer mix, a um, couple shepherd mixes. So we do have a little bit of variety. Um, 
in terms of small dogs, we do have a, a, a little basset hound mix. We have a beagle mix. So we do have a couple of options on the small front as well. So again, um, we are going to continue to try to do these Facebook lives through the month of September. Um, and next time we'll be introducing you to a handful of uh, another group of our adoptable dogs. So stay tuned um, for the dogs that we're looking to add um, when we get to that point. Uh, thanks again for watching. Um, we hope you enjoyed this Facebook Live.